right what up guys gonna shoot a quick video here um, I'm hoping you can hear me through this freaking uh, helmet and there's not too much breathing I'm trying to keep my breathing to a minimum but um, I'm just gonna do a little ride today I was shooting a video earlier at a church and some neighborhood kid kept interrupting the video so I didn't get to finish it I just deleted it actually I didn't delete it I still have it it's actually kind of funny he's homeschooled and he had so many questions about the bike I couldn't finish the video nice kid but I'm not sure uh, his parents even knew he was over there asked me all kinds of questions about dirt bikes and I wasted a good half an hour talking to him about dirt bikes and stuff so but I wanted to finish the video where I was but I didn't get a chance to because he wouldn't quit talking so anyhow I'm back on the road again hoping you can hear me a little bit better than before some other videos I've tried to moto vlog and it just it wasn't happening. I mean the wind crackling on the GoPro was so freaking bad. I don't know how anyone uses these for vlogging like that. I don't know if you're using a different mic or what it is, but yeah, I had no luck with this thing. I've tried several mics and several several different adapter things for it. I mean I have everything GoPro, you know, manufactured products to thinking it would work and it was still crackling. I watched some videos on how to quiet it down. I put a wind protect windscreen thing on the mic. Several different ones I've tried and hadn't had no luck with that. And then just recently I seen a video where the guy said just turn off the turn the wind off instead of having it on auto. So that's what I'm trying now. I hope to God it works because I'm done with it if it doesn't. I have I, I mean I'm having no luck. And I wanted to shoot some videos of riding and I was in Florida recently and riding through Destin, Florida and Miramar, Florida and some awesome views but I couldn't get the camera to work right for one I left my mount at home and no one had any mounts for GoPro there that would work for the motorcycle so um, yeah I couldn't get no video I was trying to hold it for some of the video but you know it's kind of hard to hold a camera in one hand and ride the bike in the other now I, i'd pull it out it stops and do it but yeah i wanted to get some of the views down there because the view is awesome if you haven't been to destin go check it out man it is really laid back the people are cool uh we stayed at a resort called majestic sun and we were literally right on the beach and uh yeah man it rocked uh, it, favorite place to vacation by far it only takes us, you know, 12 hours to get there driving. I drove, me, my two sons, and my grandson drove down. The rest of my family flew down. We had a, a wedding to go to for my oldest son. And uh, it, it was pretty good. It went, it went really good. They had it on the beach, which I think a lot of people are doing now. So, yeah, it turned out pretty cool. Uh, he was happy with it. Uh, everything went good. We went bowling at a cool place, man, that had... Uh, just a just a cool cool vibe it was like set up like uh alligators and octopuses for the bowling uh we went to a place called fud puckers i don't like the name of it but it is what it is i guess um where i took my grandson there before we left like a day or two before we left and uh you can feed the alligators they give you these fishing poles and then you can uh you get to pieces of meat and you can hang it up you can basically fish the meat to the alligators or crocodiles I don't even know which one they were I was too my grandson was like a freaking tornado in there running all over the place because he was so happy to see um, alligators and so we wasted about a half an hour 45 minutes feeding them and really couldn't get many of them to eat uh, just I guess they weren't hungry it seemed like they feed them in there so they probably not, they probably don't eat a lot of what the people are throwing at them now if you threw the food in there off of the hook I mean off of the rope uh, they would pick it up and eat it, but they were just slow to do so. But anyways, that was one of the things we did. If you haven't been to Destin and you do get a chance to go, go rent a pontoon and go to Crab Island. That place is by far the best place in Destin. I mean, I went and I freaking loved it. 
Uh, we go every year um, to Destin, and for the last three years, I think, we've done the uh, Crab Island uh, ride. It's just kind of cool to get out and ride around Crab Island. Um, you get you rent a boat, and uh, you go out, and you ride around. Uh, you can go anywhere you want to go, but you, when you get to Crab Island, it's like a sandbar out in the ocean right on the other side of the bridge and uh yeah you go there and you can just pull up and dock your boat right there and the water's only like you know three feet high maybe five feet max and some deeper areas so you can you know fart around out there there's actually there was actually some food tr there's usually um food trucks ice cream trucks walking around driving around the water uh, we bought some ice creams off some um a couple times that day because it was kind of it wasn't real hot out but it was like 75 and if it wasn't for the wind man it would have been the perfect day but it was kind of windy towards the end but it was awesome we seen we, when we took the boat out we, we rode around before we went out to crab island and we seen dolphins i mean tons of them it was pretty sweet we saw tons of dolphins just riding a pontoon around i mean you couldn't ask for like a better experience my grandson had actually never seen dolphins we went on a dolphin tour and we, we didn't see any dolphins like two days before that so um i, I started thinking he was thinking dolphins were like mermaids you, you never see them so um the fact that we actually got to see them and we got pretty up close and personal with them on the pontoon and then um during the wedding which was pretty nice they got some awesome photos of it but during the wedding the uh uh the photographer said hey turn around and look there's dolphins in the background and sure shit there was dolphins back there and it was like a ton of dolphins there wasn't just a few there was probably like 20 some dolphins back there and they were just playing around in the water usually that's usually they're just swimming by this time they were just out like frolicking around in the water behind the photos so his wedding photos actually have dolphins all in the background and they were diving up out of the water which normally i haven't seen them do so I said, boy, he got lucky, man, to get photos like that. And it was right in the uh, water where it was very blue. So you could see them like crystal clear. And it was just a cool day, man. But I have no, no bad experiences down there in Destin, really. I did rent a motorcycle down there the very last day. And uh, that was cool. I took it out uh, riding uh, like out in the around uh oh can't remember the name of the place Maramar no that's where we was well anyways I went went out ride and just rode up and down the uh shoreline and just trying to get some video and get some uh riding in and it was pretty fun I mean I, I know the area relatively good but not a hundred percent so it was kind of like a little bit of a sightseeing tour for me and then uh, just got to ride a motorcycle. That was one of my things on my bucket list. I actually wanted to take my bike there and ride, but yeah, that didn't work. I didn't want to tow it all the way down there, man. It seemed, I doze off a lot and I have to try to force my, I, I'm not great at staying awake when I ride, drive long periods of time. Now I've never wrecked or anything, knock on wood, but I do have to be like my sons will keep wake. Hey, wake up, wake up, man, don't go to sleep. So I'm constantly in a, state of about falling asleep the whole time I'm, I'm driving so I did not think it would be best to pull a motorcycle with me on a U-Haul trailer that I was a little bit worried about taking out anyways the U-Haul trailer that is because some people said yeah you're good to go long distances with them other people said yeah they're not for long distances they're for local travel only so that's what I was thinking like oh damn driving it all the way to Florida probably is not the best ideal so I didn't rent it, but I did get on uh, Eagle Share or Eagle's Ride, I mean, and uh, rented a bike. And it was a really good deal for the bike, and the people that rented it were awesome. Now, you can rent from uh, Eagle's Ride, I think is what it's called. You can rent directly from them, or you can post your bike on there for rent and uh, allow people to, to come and rent it off of you. And that's how I rented the bike. Uh, a couple had a bike on there for rent. It was a 2020 um 2020 Lowrider S with a stage two. Uh, really nice bike. 
but uh, part of the reason I was going to shoot this video today was uh, uh, if you've seen my other video earlier I went to the um, maneuverability class this morning and we ended up not sticking around just because it was uh, it was a waste of money it was 150 bucks to go to it and I was worried about taking it anyways but thought yeah what's it, what could it hurt even if it's not that great of a class what could it hurt well it was a terrible class the guy instructing it wasn't real good actually he hit tons of cones when he was showing us how to do it and I guess when I I messaged him about it later after we left the class and let him know why we left and I wasn't rude or anything I just said it wasn't for us and he, he actually said he had hurt his leg the other day so um, that was partly why he couldn't ride as good today which hey I, I get it man but it just wasn't for me that class wasn't what I thought it was going to be I was looking for more of something on the lines of like Robert Simmons's class and uh, if this wasn't a free practice this was a paid practice uh, it's 150 bucks for four hours and there was 15 people or so there but there was really no instruction it was just set the cones up and go right around and that's not what I was looking for I was looking for a little bit of help with uh, U-turns and uh, doing like the figure eights but it is what it is no hard feelings you live and you learn but that brings me to my next thing we are going to do a class um, a group class for anybody that wants to ride hit me up and let me know if you're in the uh, Columbus, Delaware, uh, Sunbury, even Marion area we're going to do a ride at um, Farrow Harley Davidson on State Route 71, I-71 uh, that's one of the bigger interstates that go through this area uh, goes from Cincinnati to Cleveland basically but we're going to do a class um, there a low speed class and it, it won't just be me doing it um, I will be one of them though and I, I can't I am fine at slow speed stuff but I just want to look for some guidance on like uh, my U-turns and stuff I can do U-turns where there's cones at no problem but when you get on an open road for some reason like in a residential neighborhood I have a little, I, I, I get really worried when I'm making the U-turns. I don't know why, that's just what always happens, so, um, hell, I mean, what are you going to do? But we're going to do this class, and we're going to see how it goes. If we get any turnout, great. If we don't, then we'll, we won't run it back again. But if it turns out, there's a few people that show up, we'll do it once a month or so, possibly more. And uh, we will be doing it from the dealership. 